everyone. I, um, it's an honor to be here. I have no prepared remarks or notes or slides. Um, what now? What now? And um, it's been a really hard week. If, it's, if this is on the internet, this has become the week after the inauguration of the president in January of 2017. Um, it's, been a terror, it's been a terrifying week for a lot of people, and um, I think that for me, the what now, the what has been, I need to get re-educated about how US government functions. Not just how it's laid out in the Constitution, but how it really functions, what executive orders mean, what um, congressional approval and budgets and considerations and influence and, pol and all of these things, what, how it actually works. And you know, it's funny because even before, I spoke at the Kennedy Center last, uh, about a year ago, and as part of that, I met the senator. I won't say who it was. It was a senator. And I had been enjoying the TV show Veep at that moment. And I said, oh, you know, do you, do you guys watch Veep? And he's like, Veep is a documentary. This was a year ago. So that tells us a lot about, um, tells me a lot about how government functions. And I intend to learn more. And I want to be someone that, you know, while everyone's freaking out, I can say, okay, well, this is what the Constitution says. This is the precedent set by this is, the this is Supreme Court in this case, et cetera, et cetera. I'm the daughter of two lawyers. So um, that is what I intend to do. I have already signed up for a free class that Harvard offers on American government. There's a lot of literature. There's a lot of blogs. There's a lot of stuff out there. So that's going to be my, hopefully, my positive contribution in the face of what we're up against. Um, I'm a guitar player. That's really what I do. It's what I've always done. I've played guitar since I was about this tall, and I've not grown much more. But um, I was four years old when I started playing, and I always loved it. And I think music was, I'll just say this about music, it was the intersection of what I loved and what I was good at. I was good at a lot of things, and I was, I was good at math and science, and I loved literature, and I loved writing. But I really wasn't good at writing. I, what, I, wait, which one did I love? Wait, sorry. I was, I, was, I was good at math and science, and I loved literature and writing, but you know, I, I wasn't good at it. But I didn't love math and science, but music was the, that intersection for me. And so it made it a pleasure to always do. And um, you know, whether or not that's a like, blueprint for life, or whether or not it was just a coincidence for me, um, it ended up being that, that, that being a musician and being someone that could have competence on an instrument was something that always gave me love and gratitude, no matter what. If I was with people, if I was alone, if I was um, in pain, if I was in joy, I always enjoyed uh, playing the guitar. And um, that did lead to a very weird and strange career that keeps going to this day. Strange because I mainly only play instrumental music. Um, and that has like narrowed me down to like, I think 2% of people actually purchase or listen to only instrumental music outside of the EDM world, which is a whole other situation. Um, it's an honor to come back to Hewitt and to perform to you, per, for you and to talk a little bit. And I'm gonna go play some guitar, is that cool? <laughs> So this guitar is a recent um, tattoo. If you can't see it, it says, this machine kills fascists. Um, I wrote this song the other night. Here it goes.
Thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank you to TEDx Hewitt for having me.